style and we're going to check out all of the fun new things you can find in stores. Let's go take a look. <laughs> First one, I, look at. I think this is the one that Abel would buy from this collection. Good job, Mama. Um, I really like how it kind of looks like comic book style, very bright colors. And then a little bit of text. You look scared, be prepared. Very cute. Yeah, I thought I saw hair on me. <laughs> Here's the. Um, this one's kind of a blend of all of them. You have a hyena, Iago, Flotsam and Jetsam, Dairy to Scream, the horror. It came from beyond. Yeah, it does definitely remind me of um, the Dinan. Yeah, the sci fi Dinan. Yeah, sci fi Dinan, yeah. Here's Captain Hook. Playtime is over, Pirates, TikTok time's up. And live from the infamous Skull Rock. And they're just plain on the back. Yeah. Just black on. The Which is nice because they're so bold, so printed. I kind of feel like you have to have it be plain. Uh, like night shirts. Ooh. Longer shirts. Well, this one's because it's a larger size, Mama. So maybe that's why. So this one's Jafar. Oh, yeah, I guess that's just tunic length. The most justifiably twisted. We dare you to see phenomenal cosmic powers. Very cool. And this one's white. And then they have some of um, foam cases that go with it as well. The Reckless Cruella, you little, fools! Little, little puppy, this one has little ties yeah. on the sleeves. So that one's definitely for females. Whereas I think the first ones were directed for males but could be unisex. That one's definitely a female shirt, just by the style and cut of it. Oh. Ursula. You know what it kind of reminds me of too? Is like cereal box covers or something. Oh yeah, like. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> it's like the um, Count Chocula. Yeah, like I could just picture this art on the box of a cereal, like Ursula O's or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Even though I threw her down, I do love her. <laughs> this one's cool because it's got a cool shoulder cutout design and then it's quarter length. These are large 3x three, three right here. The Notorious Maleficent, vicious, responsible for all misfortune, pure evil. That one's really cool. I like the design of that one. Evil Queen. Yeah, and see that one's got a cool cutout right here. a little bit different, which is The Wicked Evil Queen, rotten to the core. Yeah, that one's really neat. So does the price difference change because of the design? Nope. 30, so this so yes. one, the Maleficent one was 39 So it's $5 extra to have this cut out shoulder detailing. Interesting. They also have the phone cases for Ursula. What I've noticed um, too is that it's got, this is normally just the D-Tech, which I prefer the OtterBox cases because they're more durable. But this kind of has a rubberized bumper. So I wonder if that would make it more durable. I feel like it's definitely thicker, but they have the Ursula and they also have the Maleficent. Um, those are the only two I see in the phone cases, mm -hmm. but these are $29.99, so definitely more affordable than OtterBox, um, but they are for iPhone X and then the Ursula is 6, 7, 8, and X. Um, oh, I guess they have the 6, 7, 8 for Maleficent as well, sorry, but pretty cool display. It's always really busy in here, so you kind of got to maneuver as you look, but I like it. It's super backlit though, Mom, so I feel like we're going to have to pick it up and like hold it on the other side. <laughs> um, so they've got a tank top. I don't know if this is unisex, men or women, but it's $34.99 and it's cute because it's got a little money symbol and then Scrooge with a pile of coins coming out of the pocket. It's very cute. Then they have a Scrooge McDuck lounge fly. Okay. Now, I do notice all of them seem to be bending over a little, which would bother me, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, just, especially even as you're trying to zip in and out of it, if you've yeah. got this flapping down. He's so but. cute. He's 80. Let's look at the lining. Well, and he's got hooks here, so he must come with... Oh, 
So that's um, maybe a strap. That's what I was gonna show you back here, mom. So it looks like you can maneuver these straps. They're on a lobster claw. So if you don't want it as a backpack, you can just take one strap and put it on each side and make it a shoulder bag, which that's is interesting. Cute. I would wear it as a backpack, but really I mean, cute. that's personal preference. This one's super cute too. I really like the, it kind of looks like varsity or um, collegiate with the striping on the bottom. But that one's $44.99, his big dollar sign eyes. And this is like the texture of like sweats. Yeah, it's a nice thicker cotton. Um, then you have Launchpad McQuack. I think I can see from here. Yeah. I can't reach them, that's sorry. It's okay. $34.99 for that one. Very cool, and you can meet him at Animal Kingdom. So you can wear that shirt and meet him, that's neat. And then $34.99 for this one as well. And this is um, just like a regular waist. Yeah, it's v-neck. So definitely a feminine cut, but super cute. It's got a little um, lobster claw clip. Clip to put on your hair. That's really sweet. So cute. Um, I mean, and it's definitely like a costume material where it kind of feels like that, um, you know, costume velvet and tulle, but it doesn't feel itchy from what I can just feel on the on the hanger. And I actually don't think these are bad. Forty four ninety five. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. Here's the back. I feel like that might be better better than the full costume if you're like your kid or if you're a small lady walking through the parks. Definitely, but they have extra small through extra large, so oh, definitely. So these are adult size. Then, yes. Is that right? Yes, these are adult costumes. Here's the Minnie Mouse one. Here's the ears. Which at that point, I probably honestly would wear the mini headband instead of the clip ears, just because I'd be afraid that they wouldn't be symmetrical. I guess the way you but, do that is if you do those little button home tails. Right? Oh yeah. Here's the tool skirt. Super cute. Um, I like that there's the red and then the black. Yeah, a tool layer. Again, $44.99. So Honestly, though, these are fun to e even past Halloween if you're just bounding at the parks. Yeah. Like, it'd be fun to wear that to Magic Kingdom and where it's aerial. Like full costume. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's her crown. Is that the same? No, hers is on a headband. That looks like the glitter bands that um, they sell at the expos. Yeah, and look at her pretty show. Hers is definitely very voluminous. I like this kind of like tendril that she's got going on with her, for her, just the back. I want to be Ursula for next year. Yeah. We don't have it in big girl sizes. Well, extra small through extra large, but yes, no plus sizes farther than that. Um, and they also have Cheshire over here that I wanted to show you. Look at my sweet boy holding my water. The Cheshire's Real stinking cute. Adorable. And actually, I feel like yeah, these are adults. Soft. These, yeah, are not bad. This this crinoline underneath is a little messed up, but you just have to kind of re-flatten it out I when mean, you this put it on. It's like crinoline, but up here it actually it's not it's soft. Yeah. And again, forty-four. Is there a tail on the back? No, there's not. Which is good because if you're doing that'd be rides. annoying. Yeah. But there's the costumes that they've got here. All right, those were some of the new collections that we saw at Disney Style. I really was surprised by how much I liked those costumes. I think those are great for Halloween or for just bounding in the parks. But if you're wanting some of the newer pieces, I definitely recommend checking the store out. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.